it was Friday. I was getting the guys stuff together for payroll. And I got up to get something out of the file. And I felt like my legs were really weak and like I'd been sitting too long. And I went to my chair and I got a lot of it. And then my boss came in there and he's like, what's wrong, miss? And I'm like, you know, trying to tell him. And he's like, are you having a stroke? My name is Melissa Powers and I am 47. I first met Melissa, it was on a Friday evening. She was flown down to us from uh, Grand Itasca Hospital in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Life flight flew in. They were afraid that um, because there was fog, they couldn't land. And that could have made a, a big difference in how well she did. Because as we know, time is brain and every minute uh, counts. I felt really scared and thought I was gonna die. But when we got there, the fog lifted. In order to uh, treat patients with large vessel occlusions, which are basically strokes uh, as a result of blockages of the largest arteries of the brain, uh, we really have to act quickly. Once they hit Abbott Northwestern Hospital, we usually can get them into the room within about 10 minutes. They st they're just started right working on me right away, and I was like, whoa, what's going on? And the guy's like, don't worry, it's okay, and we're just gonna do this procedure to get the blood clot out, and I was like, okay. In the angiography suite, our, our main goal is to get uh, a catheter into the arteries as soon as possible. The penumbra technique has been very effective. We navigate a, uh, a very flexible, trackable catheter from the groin all the way up into the neck and eventually into the arteries of the brain. We advance directly to the face of the clot and we use essentially it's a vacuum suction that, that takes the clot out. So oftentimes we can do this in one pass and, and there's normal blood flow that's reestablished to the brain. They just went up there and took the blood clot out and, and you know, I got better. I could lift my arm and, and I could answer questions like what date it was and you know, what year it was. And that was right in the emergency room. And I'm like, wow. Melissa's recovery was actually quite remarkable. A lot of times we look at outcomes for stroke patients out at 90 days. For Melissa, it was one of those rare cases where she actually improved dramatically before our eyes. And we performed one pass with the uh, uh, thrombectomy device, which is the device we use to remove the clot from the brain, and she improved within minutes right, right on the table. And all of a sudden she goes, well, how am I doing? You're doing great. My arm kept getting better and stuff, and my leg kept getting better, and pretty soon everything was back to normal. It was just a model case for how stroke treatment should be done, and we were just very thankful that, that all of that went off without a hitch. Before I had a stroke, I was going to college, and I went to the nursing home and saw people who had strokes and stuff, and so I knew what, would ha what could happen. It's a really amazing procedure, and you know, I can do everything now. Um, drive, do my garden, pretty much everything. My husband always says, you know, you dodged a bullet on that one. He's like, you were lucky. It saved my life. I wouldn't be here without it. <laughs>